She let him drown in Titanic. <laughs> she didn't even ask to let him share his floating board, and Leo DiCaprio drowned. It was so terrible. All right, moving we'll back on to positivity. Valentine's week is, of course, all about heart. And with that in mind, it's Tommy that our health living segment healthy living segment focuses on the heart it is congenital heart disease awareness week and we learn more about that with the folks at cardiology associates here with Dr. Lynn Batten at Cardiology Associates. Good morning, Lynn. Good morning. We are talking about congenital heart defect today. First of all, let's start with the very generic, what is a congenital heart defect? It's basically a heart defect that you're born with. Something wrong with your heart and it happened before you were born. How common are congenital heart defects? Only 1%. 1% doesn't sound like a whole lot unless it's your baby and then that's about 100%. Right. It is the most common birth defect that we see. What are the most common forms of congenital heart disease? Um, a VSD is actually the most common heart defect. That's a hole between the bottom two chambers of your heart. Mm -hmm. um, and that is actually very common, um, which is kind of a good thing. If they're small, they usually close on their own, so not a big deal. The larger ones do need heart surgery. Um, tetralogy of Fallot is another one, more serious heart defect. Um, some people call it blue baby syndrome, mm -hmm. um, and that one's more serious. We see a lot of that down here, too. So are there signs and symptoms of this, or how does someone know if this is occurring? Uh, a lot of kids get picked up because they have a heart murmur, and their pediatrician will hear the murmur and send them to us, and then we will find there's a VSD. Uh, the more serious heart defects, the good news is a lot of times we can di diagnose those prenatally, uh, mm -hmm. with a fetal echo, so it's nice to pick the serious stuff up before they even deliver, then the parents can get prepared for it and we can uh, arrange for delivery and treatment afterwards. Let's talk about that when it's diagnosed or discovered, what is the treatment process? Um, a lot of things will close on their own or take care of themselves, like a, mm -hmm. a valve that's a little bit too tight sometimes will be fine and not need anything done about it. The serious stuff needs heart surgery a lot of times. Sometimes things can be handled in the cath lab, like mm -hmm. an adult has a cardiac cath. Um, they do caths on children and they can handle a lot of things in the cath lab without open heart surgery. Anything else you'd like to add about congenital heart defect or congenital heart diseases that I haven't asked you? Um, we've come a long way with surgery and years ago when I was training certain heart defects there was nothing we could do for the babies, no hope for the families, but now almost every heart defect we can do something about. Well that is great news and of course if you're watching at home and you have any questions you can contact Dr. Lynn and the folks at Cardiology Associates. Thank you so much for spending some time Thank with you. us this morning. Thanks for coming.